and yet another perfect night in Perth for running rugby. Round nine action coming at you between the Force and the Crusaders. And we are set for an absolute cracker here in Australia's West. And here they are, the Canterbury Crusaders, and what a side it is too. Romano and Donnelly, two tall men in the row, and their back row of George Whitelock, Luke Whitelock can do all sorts of damage, as can these men out wide, Robbie Fruin, and at the back, Israel Dagg. They're coached by Todd Blackadder, and they're up against the Western Force, chasing their third win from their last 18 starts, and their back row will have a huge say in that tonight. Ben McCowman, Hodgson, and Richard Brown, whilst out wide, a junior, Rasalia, gets his first run on start in Super Rugby. They are coached by Michael Foley. It'll be Tyler Blayendale who gets us underway. Round nine out of NIB Stadium, and it's Brown straight into the thick of things. Now McCowman. He's Norton Knight. Drills it long. Finds touch and a confident start, Brendan Cannon from the home side. Yeah, good controlling start. Sam Norton Knight at 10 will be more of an attacking fly half than he will be a kicking fly half, as we've seen from CS Everson. Interesting to see how he slips into the 10 position, Tim. Yeah, he's got to ignite the side, hasn't he, tonight? Especially against this wonderful attacking Crusaders back line. Here they are now in action. Through and Landale around the back and now on a crotty offloads for. He's winger. Now Ellis on oh, quickly, but coughed up there by Whitelock. Now with Murphy. Another good early touch from him. Picks and goes again, Murphy. Strong on the ball. Terrific touch early from the Western Force wing. And now Lynn sends it to Marfu. Goblin. McCowman comes now through Hodgson and Rasalia. Promising signs early for the Western Force. Hodgson. Goblin on a brown. He was hit hard in the tackle by Whitelock down low. Hodgson tries to get through the line, but wrapped up well by the debutant tonight, Shane Christie. In the seven for the Crusaders. Good composed start from the... Western Force as Whites carries it forward. Just short of the 22. They need to get a few more numbers to the break down the Western Force. Matthewson, good ball there for his running back rower, and now it's Lynn charging forward. Brown previous to that. Hodgson, 10 phases and impressive phases from the Force. Beaton settles it. Beaton, good runs from the back row, the Western Force. McCalman, Hodson and Brown. Now Norton Knight goes wide to Rasselli. It's loose. Gets round through and before he composes himself and drags him down. He's Tessman. Norton Knight. Jeeps off the right. Wow, the footwork, Sam Norton Knight, and he took it flat. He attacked the advantage line, a show and go, and then swiveled at the end and had the composure to know where the try line was. Lovely play, interchanging play between Richard Brown and also Toby Lynn. It's the quick ball that the Western Force are getting to get through these phases. Sam Norton Knight attacking the line, show inside to Richard Brown and then reached out and dotted it right under the post. We spoke about him being an attacking fly half, and that was exactly what he did there. He took it to the line, saw the loose head prop and white, Crockett being in the defensive line, stepped back on the inside as he was lazy getting to the ball. Great start from the Western Force. So, Jaden Haywood, no dramas from in front, and the Western Force are off to a flyer at NIB Stadium. They're 7-0 up, four minutes gone. Well, I think, Sean, they also realise, the Western Force, that they've got to maintain possession and keep the ball as much as they can away from this star-studded attacking Crusaders team. They've got to get through seven-plus phases. Control the ball. 
Glendale gets us back underway. Dream start for the home side. Great composure and continuity early to give Sam Norton Knight the chance to put them ahead. And McCowman with some strong carries early in this game. There he is, the try scorer. Norton Knight. Here's Dag with his first touch. Such an elusive, broken field runner. Dag. Crockett. This is where they're dangerous, the Crusaders. Open field. Blandale. Here they go, stringing the passes together. Lovely ball from Israel Dag. Oh, good shot there. Rushed up. Hit him with everything, Brown, and the force will come away with it. Booming start from Brown. Norton Knight rubbers through. He's looking for Ed Stubbs. Just beats him in a touch. Yeah, wonderful defence, but you can see how dangerous the Crusaders are when they get that fractured ball. When you're chasing your tail defensively, this is the hit. Richard Brown, bang, and then see the force get there in numbers and work over the top of the football. Great interpretation and read of the play there from Richard Brown. But the Crusaders do look dangerous with ball in hand. Nice clean take there from Whitelock. Blindale on to Christie. Take him back. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that might be out of the full two. Israel Dag. The ball was taken back. In behind the 22. From Andy Ellis to Israel Dag. That can't be kicked out of the full. Puts his team under a bit more pressure now. Western Force line out on the 22 metre line. Well, it's important for the Force here to capitalise on this positive start. There's just been told there's some roadworks around the stadium. There's a number of people that have missed the pro promising start from the Force being held up in traffic. Yeah, this one of their big ticket games. No doubt about that. Didn't know there was traffic in Perth, Cano. There's a few modern cars instead of the horse and cart you're talking about, Timmy. Well, it's a good start, though, isn't it, for the Western Force? It's the first time this season Western Force have scored in the first 20 minutes of a match. Oh, it's a wonderful start. I mean, you compare this to last week, the opening 15 to 20 minutes, they were quite poor against the Rebels. The game slipped away. But tonight, they've turned it around. In the space of seven, seven days, they've got their start to the game spot on. Didn't look straight for the Western Force. Play on, though. Norton Knight. Oh, another big hit there. Great shot and forces the turnover for White. the Crusaders. Ellis. White Crockett on his feet. Dinks it over the top. Tessman back to clean up. Goblin. Big left boot, the young 20-year-old. Good tackle that from Junior Rasalia and makes the steal and pops it up for Cowan. Inspired rugby early here from the Western Force. They are on all cylinders early. And numbers to the right. Godwin, quick feet. Another good tackle from White Crockett. He hits like a sledgehammer. Rubber through there from Haywood. And might just beat them into touch. It's close. Go back for the 22. Oh, it was a good option from Jaden Haywood. Just a little bit too far. But the Western Force are getting continuity. Brilliant tackle from Junior Rasalia. And got to his feet and stole possession. Just the weight of the ball. Jaden Haywood, who's played two years with the Highlanders and then with the Hurricanes two years as well. Came across to the Western Force in pre-season. Cole Godwin. Norton Knight sends it a long way up. Dag won't have any issues though under the high ball. And now finds a bit of space. Gets around Hodgson. Pushes off Godwin. Tosses it back inside for Whitelock. But it's come forward off a Crusader's hand. Gee, Israel Dag. His footwork is just sensational. Watch how he works. A little bit of space on his right-hand side. 
Got around Ed Stubbs. Should have thrown the ball there. Just a little bit too late. Yeah, that way, right there. Crouch. Good opportunity. Touch. Set piece play. Set. Russell Lear. Matthewson digs it out for McCowman. Had a wonderful opening 10 minutes, Ben McCowman. He's Godwin. Well up over the ad line there, Kyle Godwin. A penalty advantage coming. Big decision here, Matt Hodgson's off the field, so you'd have to think that probably Richard Brown might be the might, might, might be the skipper. Well, no, sorry, Pet Cowan, the loose head. Would you take the points, Tim, or would you try and keep on this momentum that the force have got at the moment? No, take the, the points. Take the points straight away. If you can get to 10-0 against the Crusaders team. Now with a chance we flick further. Payne on them early. Chance for another three. Make it 10-0 to the good for the Western Force. Not a drama for Jaden Haywood. And the locals lead 10-0, 12 gone. Yeah, it's been, been a wonderful start from the force. The key against the Crusaders when you play them is you've got to take them out of their comfort zone. You can't let them find any rhythm or momentum in their performance, which is what the force have done in the opening 10 minutes of this game. They've got to maintain it for the next 70 minutes, a big effort. Again, Brown the recipient. Restart, Matthewson, McCowman. Wait there! Interesting kick from Kyle Godwin, straight down the field. To perhaps one of the world's most dangerous fullbacks in Israel Dag. Landale to perhaps one of the world's most dangerous outside centers in Fruin, but the pass was popped up on the outside of the force. Murphy. Into the thick of it. He's been his side's best in 2013. No doubt about that, Alfie Murphy. Yeah, Alfie Murphy has been someone that we've spoken highly of in all the games that we've covered, Tim. And uh, interesting to note that Robbie Deans this week has announced a 30-man train-on squad in, in preparation for the Lions. You can see the Crusaders, that man, Fruin, dangerous with ball in hand, not able to control it out wide. But back to Alfie Murphy, not named in the uh, in the Wallaby train-on squad at the moment, but you'd have to think he'd be in consideration. Crouch. Touch. Set. Another good shove there from the Crusaders, putting all sorts of pressure on the force. Matthewson burrows in, now Norton Knight. Kicks for his chases, but Dag takes on the full electric footwork and now goes to Marshall. He has been one of his side's best in 2013. Tom Marshall, Blaindale. Now Christie, he got crunched. Shane Christie. Crotty. Oh, oh lovely ball that from Ryan Crotty. Here's trouble for the force. Robbie Fruin. Bang one. Bang two. Crusaders right on the front foot, but it comes loose. Now with Whitelock. Robbie Fruin is down in back play after that run. Leandale goes cross field, and that is a lovely kick. Reeled in, but then thrown loose back on the inside. Use it! And in a touch it goes, and we all get to take a breath. What a frenetic passage of play, Timmy Horan. A oh, lovely ball from Ryan Crotty. Robbie Fruin right off his shoulder. Right in the trams. He runs a perfect line, Robbie Fruin, and then one thank you very much to Cole Godwin. And he was very slow in back play to That's come back. Piece. He's still down with the trainer at the moment, Robbie Fruin. A good take there from Romano. And they'll keep it tight for the time being as Robbie Fruin collects himself there at the bottom of your screen. Christie with it trapped at the back. Use it now! goes himself. Easy pickings for the defenders around the mall. And now Flynn. Yes. 
sec immediately. A sec immediately. My former rug back there. There's a chat from Jay Kaplan. Silent. Landale. Pops it in between the uprights and they are on the board after 17. It is a force 10 leading the Crusaders 3. He's done well, Tyler Bladendale, the last three weeks. Obviously, Dan Carter has been out, been away from his birth of his first baby, Marco. So we wish him all the best to come back from a, a slight hamstring strain this week, Dan Carter. Fortnight goes long and Ella shapes the kick and now does. And Cano, is there a real renewed sense of optimism down there on the sideline in amongst the sea of blue? It was a wonderful feeling. I mean, they, they turn up here in numbers each week in their beautiful colours of, of the Western Force, wanting to see a side play well, but play well for 80 minutes. They're getting a positive start tonight. Yeah, easily. See the possession stat, 80% in the last five minutes to the Crusaders. They know how important it is to control this ball. Dag, and there's some room to move out to the right here as Crotty. Oh, lovely footwork there from Ryan Crotty. The pass stubs. Glendale. Christie. Let it come! Only with a solid clean out there. Fruin scoops it up. Offloads. But Romano brought down. 10, then Whitelock. Stay on. Crotty to Dag again. Takes two to bring him down. Crusaders 15. Oh, lovely tap on from Donnelly there. Late inclusion in the run on side, Tom Donnelly. Of experience and super rugby caps all fairly lateral though for the moment from the crusaders roll ellis to flynn here he goes in his 250th first class game pops it on the outside white lock back inside to his big second rower and it's luke romano sticking his mitts through and i think he's got it down timmy look like it wonderful play from the crusaders that's what they're renowned for patience and continuity try no try yeah, check the ground Wonderful work on the left-hand side. Robbie Fruin, pass away. Adam Whitelock as well. Luke Romano went to ground. Momentum reaches out. Try time. Had control. I think he got it down the first opportunity as well. Luke Romano. Okay, right, Timmy. I think we might be seeing... The number going the frame for Luke Romano. This will be his fifth Super Rugby try. Yep, he may award the try. <laughs> and there it is. The T for Luke Romano. And easy as you like, Cano. They split them down the blind side, and that was that. Yeah, great support. Whenever there's a breakout, there's plenty of Crusader numbers get in there behind the football. You can see that Corey Flynn, who has been a wonderful servant for the Crusader uh, team in many years, beautiful offload there. Back to George Whitelock on the outside. Luke Wright and then Romano did really well. Great athleticism to, to twist and turn and get the ball down over the line. All you've got to do is touch the chalk and a try for the Crusaders. A great bounce back. And the shot from out wide. He's pushed out to the right. So it stays. The Western Force 10, Crusaders 8. Well, for mine, the Crusaders have been the best in the competition for the last five or six years for filling in in the back line for, with their forwards. They can play either side of the field. Doesn't matter whether it's a second rower, a hooker, or a back rower. They can
can throw a cutout pass, a dummy switch, a talented forward pack that can do that and fill in in the back line with numbers. Use it. Scoops it in. Tyler Bladendahl. Well, that's touch scrappy after posting points from the Crusaders. Not what we're used to seeing from them. No, Todd Blackadder would not be happy with that uh, response. Receiving the kickoff there. Quite, uh, quite scrappy in their consistency there. Very loose. A couple of passes. Robbie Fruin. Bad execution with the pass out wide. Gives the force a chance. You don't want to give the opposi opposition any chances in your own 22. Good spoil there from the Crusaders. Good pressure. Prices averted for them for the time being. As Ellis shoes off a few more metres for the visitors. Nice kick, Andy Ellis. Really important player for this Crusaders team. Drives the forward pack on. Scrappy again from the force. Matthewson whips it to Sam Norton Knight. Rasalia. Making the most of his shift into the outside centre position from the wing. Penalty advantage coming for the force. Hold out wrong way, please. Yeah, Brian Potty made the tackle on Rasalia. Sometimes you make the tackle, it's really difficult to roll away. You try and make an effort, but when the halfback is standing right over the top of you, you've got nowhere to roll. Speaking to a couple of the Crusaders coaching staff uh, and, and management team before the game, saying, you know, were the, were the Crusader team up for tonight's performance? And you can see here just Jason Rosalia working his way through, the force getting there in numbers, but just not able to roll away. A tough decision because in an awkward position there, you could see he is trying to make the attempt. It got pinned probably between Matt Hodgson's legs, which made it look a little bit worse than what it actually was. But they did say that they were up for it. Um, they'd had a pretty successful tour of South Africa. Obviously, that great win against the odds against the Stormers in Cape Town. And then that narrow loss to the Sharks at uh, Kings Park and returning home and on their way back to New Zealand after this game against the Force tonight. Be looking to finish with a win here on this little short tour that they've been on. But I don't think they've been surprised by the way the Force has started this opening 20 minutes of the game. It is the Western Force 13, lead the Crusaders A25 gone. Well, there's plenty of Western Force supporters, obviously, but there's a spattering cano of a lot of Crusaders supporters. A lot of expat Kiwis live in Perth, and they're out in numbers tonight. Once more, Richard Brown, he's been a magnet from the restarts. The veteran number eight from the force. 81 Super Rugby Caps, Richard Brown. Matthewson now to Norton Knight. One side. Blindale back for Dag, who doesn't hit that one all too well. And the force will come away with it through Hodgson. Dynamic. Opening quarter from the Western Force back row. Clever little dink in there. In behind the Crusaders defensive line from Norton Knight. I think he would have liked to have had that option again, Sam Norton Knight. Scored the only try for the Western Force tonight. First try actually since round one in 2009. Super rugby for Sam Norton Knight. We've had a good opportunity to keep the ball in hand. Well, it's scrappy from the Crusaders and Matthewson. Snipes and goes straight over. Bunted just over. Landale now White. Marfu. White lock all over at the skipper from the Crusaders, but the force will come away with it. Golden field position here for Cowan. Norton Knight. Wrapped up by Crotty and Crockett. Godman to Hodgson. 
Schmidt and a good tackle there. Stay up, stay up. Lynn. Godwin trying to free up a bit of room on the outside. Oh, big shot there from Frank on Tessman. Knight. Look back on the inside. Found Stubbs. Put in the jersey. It's a penalty. Jersey pull. Yeah, Albie Matheson there getting penalised for pulling the jersey on the Crusaders, trying to give a slight advantage, but undoing all that tremendous build-up work from the force there. Some great um, variety in their passages of play there, Tim, wasn't it? It was good sustained pressure. Yeah, and just Albie Matheson just holding back a player. I wasn't sure who it was. Defensively, the Crusaders, they don't commit to the breakdown in this part of the field. Oh, there wasn't much in it from Elby Matheson just holding back Luke Romano. Just a little tug of the jersey. He's played against the Crusaders for years and years back in New Zealand. Knows them well. Flynn. Right, look. Took it cleanly. Shunting run there in the midfield from Christie. Great shot, Doko. opposite number Haywood goes to the air also Blindale to Murphy the Western Forces go to man what can he conjure up here over the top to Ellis Jake splays it off the side of the boot an ugly kick and now starts in his first Run on Super Rugby game was smashed over the top. I think Franks was the man for playing a penalty advantage. Jonathan Kaplan will bring it back for Owen yeah. Franks just a bit too high. You can see there's a little bit of space there for Ed Stubbs. the initial contact oh, it, it slipped up it was good contact at first shoulder on shoulder and then obviously Corey Flynn we've got the wrong man in picture there with uh, Owen Franks being designated as the culprit but uh, he, he was second second man in wasn't he Corey Flynn was the first second man in so that was the uh, the Malachi brothers both bang bang <laughs> left and right shoulders to uh, to rattle the cage Let's play on this. and uh, Corey Flynn I believe he's playing in his 250th first class game yeah. Tommy Cohen's one of only five players in New Zealand to have done that, which is an amazing feat. Outstanding, and, and, and consistency has been a big feature for him. As the years have rolled on, and those games and minutes in the Crusader jersey have, uh, have, uh, have, have maxed up, he's just getting, getting better and better each year. Wonderful servant to New Zealand rugby. I'll tell you what's working well tonight for the Western Force is Sam Norton Knight and also Kyle Godwin working in tandem at first receiver. It's allowed Sam Norton Knight to, to stay a little bit wider. So even though there's 10 and 12 on their back, the alternating between that first receiver for the Western Force. And also Sam Norton Knight instinctively wants to run the football rather than kick it, which keeps the defence back. Makes you hold up just because you don't want to slide off him if, if compared to Sears Everson playing. He normally kicks the ball a bit more. Scrap at line out time for both sides through the opening 30 is Marfu. Roll. He's brought down. Jordan Tafua coming through the breakdown. right in front for the Western Force. Should extend their lead by another three. They're looking for quick ball, the Western Force. Jade Howard in front. And repeats the dose. And it is the Western Force 16 leading the seven-time champions eight.
Western Force have been in many positions like this in, in numerous games where they've been leading, played very good football, but they've faded at the back end of each half. Critical moments for them coming up. Should go to that man again, Richard Brown. Carbon copy and good footwork too from Brown. Great run from the Force 8. Whites to Norton Knight. Haywood. It's a completely different side to the one we saw last week. G's got some ball carries in him. Sam Whites tonight. Godwin. Happy to play it up the middle again. It seems to be a recurring thing. Recurring plan this from the force to go long, straight up the middle, Timmy. Yeah, just forcing them in the middle of the field, so they have to make choices. The Crusaders at the moment, they're giving the ball back at good positions for the Western Force. And options with Kyle Goodwin with left foot and Sam Norton Knight right foot. Seven and a half minutes in the first half left to go. Important time for both teams. Again, the scrap he fired at the line-out continues, and the Crusaders win it off the force. Lonedale slings it wide to Fruin. Dag frees up Marshall on the outside. Did extremely well to stay in. Fruin cleans out. Ellis, Lonedale, White Lock. On to Donnelly. Good hands out from Luke Whitelock. Trotty. Crockett. Spinning out of the tackle was the try scorer, Luke Romano. Phases continue to build here for the Crusaders. Oh, good shot from Ed Stabs on Jordan Tafua. Giving a bit back there, Ed Stubbs, Crotty, trying to squeeze through the line. Hodgson was up to the task. Donnelly having a little carry, losing his strides in the process. Ellis, with a little pass. Knocked on by the force. Really effective defence there from the force. The Crusaders, good football, multiple phases, but literally going side to side. No one really able to penetrate. Concern look there on uh, on Todd Blackadder, uh, the coach of the Crusaders. 35 minutes in, you can see they're just shuffling the ball, Tim, aren't they? They're, they're, they're crabbing across the field, which helps defensively not put a lot of pressure on the defensive side, does it? Well, the, the only time that they're throwing any decoy runners in the play is with forward runners close to the breakdown. It's just hands across the field. There's no dummy switch or show and go. At the moment, it's just hands and allows the Western Force defensive line just to shuffle across the field and pick them up. You always want to ask questions of the defence when, you, when you're in attack. The Crusaders at the moment, great ball movement side to side, but not really asking the question. That man there needs to get a lot more ball direct into the, def into the defence of the Western Force. Marshall has been enormous for the Crusaders. Crotch, 2013. Can he spark something Touch. in the shadows of halftime for his side? This is where they strike. They score 40% their points this year. No, this little neither. Run into halftime. Oh, reset. Every New Zealand team a dangerous five minutes each side of halftime. They score the majority of their points at that stage. Yeah. Step out. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. Here we go, scrum scrum now. Some good options here yeah. for the Crusaders. You, you can see Tom Marshall standing behind the scrum. Crotch. First receiver Touch. is Ryan Crotty. Set. Crusaders have got something cooking here. It's the 22. Virgin the scrum up towards. Ellis. Goes to Crotty. Ellis out the back. Now there's room for the Crusaders to Whitelock. The pass looks forward. But it's play on for the time being. Now well inside the 22. Donnelly shifts it to Fruin. Oh boy. Offloads it to Marshall. Now to Crockett. 
he can go. Luke Romano has two at NIB. Oh, he's going to take it a long way back. But it's just the two phases, Timmy, isn't it? The two phases we can go back to check. Sorry. I'm just not looking at a pass on the far side. Here it comes now, Israel Dag. It would appear forward, which will undo that tremendous build-up for Luke Romano's possible second try. You've seen this TMO decision work really, really well this year after its introduction two phases back. It would appear as though that ball has gone forward. Oh, Israel Dag, his hands went back. Yep. The pass was thrown forward. Back on the 22. Oh, I thought that pass was reasonably flat. The assistant referee was in line. Play on. It was a wonderful set piece play from the Crusaders' back line. No, nothing there. One way, dragged nothing it back there. the other, and it looked as though Luke Romano had his second for the night. Watch the pressure that the Crusaders will try and put on the force here at scrum time. I do think that they've slightly got the edge in the scrum. They get a really aggressive engagement. Watch them try and chase their feet. Really try and pressurise the delivery of the ball at the back of the scrum for the force. Crotch. Touch. Set. As predicted from Brennan Cannon, it's a huge shove from the Crusaders, but... Yeah, but White Crockett was the man penalised there from angling in on Celeste Marfu. You've got to stay square in the front row. Your angle. Your angle. If he goes down, he's got nowhere to go. So yes, the angle of White Crockett, the loose head going in on the knowledge. angle. The first destabilises the whole scrum, trying to put as much pressure on the tight head for the Western Force, Celeste Marfu. It's illegal scrummaging, but if you can get away with it, it works so well in moving the opposition scrum. A reprieve for the Force there with a relieving kick with the line-out throw to come. The dodge bullets one and two. He's on, on the side here. White Crockett going in off his feet, trying to really work in on the angle. But this, the Crusaders still believe they've got the superior scrum. Huge turnaround, isn't it, though? Crusaders could have been one point behind a minute ago. And I still have another shot at them here as Luke Whitelock offloads to Jordan Tafua. This guy is a Absolute machine in terms of ball carrying. Jordan Tafua. Right up there from Lonsdale. Yeah, in a touch. Was ahead of the Robbie Fruin was ahead of the kick up. And as Jonathan Kaplan has said, no influence on the game. So play on. Western Force ball, 60 metres out. Step, please. Step, please. Step, please. Pete Tessman just wiping his hands. It's, it's quite a humid night here in Perth. So uh, as the boys that, that are running around, you can see there the sweat on Sam Wikes' face. It, it, it is quite warm. So he's drying his hands to make sure he's got good purchase on the football to throw it in. Five-man line-out. Western Force. Then Sword. Now Matthewson goes high. Marshall well and truly up to it. He's run a good form, continues. Tom Marshall. Blindale. Crotty. Through it again. Come on, come on, come on. Takes a power of stopping Robbie Fruin with every touch. A bit slippery there. Clearly the ball for Blindale. So Huda goes and Dag. Roll out! Shifts it to Marshall. He's brought down on the halfway line. Now Blindale, Trotty to Whitelock. Now Luke Whitelock. They're playing very deep at the moment, the back line for the Crusaders. It's allowing the Western Force defence to set their line and move up. Trotty. Dag. Marshall. Slowly but surely, they edge closer towards the Western Forces line. Trotty to Flynn. Had a huge hand in the Crusaders. Only try the first half, Corey Flynn. Blindale. Runners up in the line. There's Whitelock pushing through. Now they've got runners midfield, forward runners. Adam 
might lock that was, and Flynn was monstered by Cowan. Huge contact. Crotty looking for a little way through and finds it. That oh. was clobbered by Stubbs. Huge hit from the young winger, and perhaps a chance for the force. Matthewson says, no thanks, but Ed Stubbs with a bow rattler in the shadows of half-time. Can they keep it going, the Western Force? They're up 16 points to eight against the perennial heavyweights of Super Rugby, the Crusaders. Norton Knight with a beautifully placed restart. White leapt, grabbed, brought it in, and now Cowan. Ball certainly falling the Force's way at the moment. Brown has had one of his better 40 minutes of rugby in recent memory against the men out of Canterbury, New Zealand, South Island. They've worked really well together, the back three, back row, McCallum and Hodgson Brown. Pat Cowan now, another carry. Not night again. Chris Alcock on for the force. There's Norton Knight, grubbers in behind Marshall and in between Dag and Cano, another composed run of play from the Western Force. Yeah, great, great composure there and good direction from Sam Norton Knight. They've really tested the Crusaders in a number of phases there, but in, in good class fly half style, he's put the ball in front of them, put it out, puts the pressure back on the Crusaders. That's Scrappy there and Toby Lynn came through and slammed. Well, that's inspirational. Tom Marshall into the turf. Inspirational play there from Toby Lynn, working through off the line out after it was tapped down. A, a lazy tap, missed the halfback, dribbled back towards the try line, picked up, and he just pressured through. You can see that Andy Ellis tapped him behind him, but just great pressure, good leadership, and, and good control there from Toby Lynn. Not to overrun the mark and just drive him back. Western of Force has started so positively in this second half, exactly how they needed to. Scary sight, that. Toby Lynn, all 199 centimetres of him. Hair flying, streaming through. Good opportunity now, Western Force back line. Crouch. Sam Norton Knight. Outside Touch. him, Cole Goodwin. Set. Same again. Yeah. Yeah. So Chris Alcock on for Ben McCowman. He was industrious in. Had some good first 40. Yeah, had some good ball carries, Ben McCowman. Hope he hasn't picked up another injury or he's just fresh legs from coach Michael Foley. You fit in with them, it's their ball. You fit in with them, it's their ball. Don't shift too far, please. Break up. On the set. I haven't called anything, I just called Crouch. I just I wanted to reset it. Wasn't happy with the setup. Okay. Here we go, strong time! Yep. Strong time! Angle. Jonathan Kaplan, the referee, held both sides for a long period of time, wasn't happy with the set. Crouch. Touch. Set. And again. Oh, what a scrum from the Crusaders. Set pieces, super from the Crusaders. Franks, wow. Yeah, punches the air, great reward. You could really sense there that the Crusaders were going to put as much pressure as they could on. And they weren't going to try and go around the corner, the loose head side or the tight head side. It was straight through the middle of the scrum, and that man, Corey Flynn, would have copped all the pressure from his second rowers. Good reward there, and a good result for the Crusaders defending their own line. You can see them just shunt, ease down as one, and then just work through. Heath Tessman popping up, Corey Flynn popping up. Great scrum. Now the line out a little better this time around. Glendale. Happy to come wide through and perhaps create a little space for Guildford. Look at the speedster straight in the action and also into touch. Zach Guildford. 
Oh, oh, tackle. Kyle Goblin. You don't want to give Zach Guilford too much for him, do you, Tim Horan? No. He's had some wonderful seasons with the Crusaders over the years. Zach Guilford. Then the left touch line. And it was all good inside centres do. He was covering across. Line. Kyle Godwin. Copy book tackle. Brown. Did it well without too much assistance there from his lifters at the line out. It was almost like a line out from the good old days. No lifting, just straight down the middle and, 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 and argy bargy go yourself. Dockyard brawl, as Dave Brockoff used to say. But uh, disappointment there for the for the red uh, for the force. You can see deserved better. Richard Brown not happy with the execution at the line out and getting held up. But uh, how wonderful is this, Tim? The Crusaders down by eight points, but wanting to run the football from their own 22. And that man, Zach Guilford, he's had some off-field issues, but he seems to put them behind him. And good to see him back playing rugby and doing what he does best. Yeah, I like Todd Black Adder giving him some time. You don't, you don't need to come on for the last five or ten minutes, Zach Guilford. Let him try and spark this game and split it open. Well played. Salisi Marfu. Tetra Faulkner now on. Crouch. Listen to me, Jordy. Listen to me, Jordy. Touch. Set. Jordy to feel it. Holds it well for Ellis. Plays in motion. Tyler Blandale goes out the back to Guildford. Second touch in. As many minutes for Guildford. And they stream through the Crusaders. Godwin cleaned it up for the force. Now Matthewson. Murphy packs it away downfield to Blindale. And puts on some fancy feet to get past Murphy. What out? Friday Romano. Already the one try to his name tonight. Perhaps should have been two. Marshall. Strong run there from the winger. Trotty. Now Guildford again. Romano. Donnelly cleans out well for the Crusaders as Crotty puts it on to Franks. Good head of steam up there from the tight head. But Tessman race through. Scragged Ellis. Guildford again. Flynn passing from some of these Crusaders big men. Copybook, wonderful skills. One through to 22 is Luke Whitelock. Penalty, penalty advantage coming, rather. One down, Flynn. Cowan with another solid hit. It's a bit interesting call from Jonathan Kaplan because must release the ball was the call. When you make the tackle, there's got to be a little bit of air, some gap after you make the tackle until then you go and try and attack the ball. What did you make of that, Cano? On the money, Jay Kaplan. Well, it looks like a difficult decision against the Western Force because Matt Hodgson was there on his own and, uh, and, and, and was part of the original tackle, gave a bit of daylight, released the actual uh, ball carrier. Just draws it in ever so neatly. And they reduce the deficit to five. It's the Force still with the noses ahead, 16. Leaving the Crusaders 11. And a nice moment this, Cano Rory Walton making his Super Rugby debut. Country boy looks hard as nails. Yeah, he looks tough. He, he had a lot of energy at halftime as the force went in for the tunnel, so good to see him get on. Out of the North Club in Sydney, Rory Walton. Had a run around with Wataroo over here in the Perth comp last week. Itching to get his teeth into these Crusaders as Fruin is chopped down. Great tackle that from Hodgson. Blayendale opting to go down centre field again. Oh, it's 
a clever little kick there from Norton Knight. And Sam Norton Knight knows how important it is, and Michael Foley, the coach, said at half time how important field position is, but also choosing the right time when to kick for touch and also when to attack the line. He's done it pretty well tonight so far, Sam Norton Knight. up there from Ellis. Luke Whitelock, Crotty, Fruin. Willingness to run it from everywhere. The pass out of back of Fruin was a touch loose, but still with the Crusaders and Marshall. But now knocked on. Well, Robbie Fruin didn't need to throw the ball. He'd already got across the advantage line. Such a hard man to, to one put to ground. And Junior Rasselier wasn't sure what to do. He was trying to drift out. To Israel Dag. There the balls, the 50-50 passes out wide where well, you've got to try and make the right calls. Handling errors against the Crusaders. Seven to one. Yeah, they're very uncrusader like this. They're normally very, very good with their ball handling and have the fewer mistakes of the two sides that are playing on the night. But you just got to love the inherent belief that they have that they back themselves, they back their systems, and generally an attack with players like Israel Dag and, and Robbie Fruin in the back line. You want to get the ball in their hand as many times as you possibly can because you know something's going to happen. Speak about um, foot, field position for the Western Force, doesn't matter against the Crusaders, they will run Touch. it from everywhere. You've got to be honest and true in your defensive structure. Another good. Shove there from the Crusaders. They've really up the ante at scrum time. Yeah. You get the feeling that the momentum is starting to shift in this match with the Crusaders. Starting to get out of third gear into fourth and trying to get into fifth gear. Their forward pack is starting to dominate up front. Timmy, you were crunching the numbers at half time. Western Force have been okay up through 40 this year, but conversion rate? Yeah, they haven't completed, have they? They've been in front at half time five times so far in Super Rugby 2013. And they have only been able to finish off one of those against the Queensland Reds. Away from home. And looking to improve on a winning strike rate at NIB of just 20%. What about this formation? Touch. From the Crusaders' back line. At the back, too soon. Box formation, still on. Set Crotty, Dag, the fence is good, covers it well, but now they link the Crusaders and Guildford takes his side. Well into the forces half. Jordan Tafua, grass by what? Hodgson. He's getting through a mountain of work tonight. The skipper, Hodgson, Fruin, onto Marshall. Nuggy little winger, so explosive. Lonedale. It's Sam Whitelock on. They just keep coming, the Whitelocks. They're everywhere. Ellis. Fruin. Oh, lovely interchange of passes there. Just needed to go one more to Flynn on the outside. Lonedale. Tafua, Crockett. Trotty. Guildford. Oh. Still does well to pop it up. Room in tight. The white lock. Wrestles through the defence. Getting about their work well here. Guildford back on the inside. Goes to that. Great shot there over the top. Stubbs again. He's forced a turnover. Ed Stubbs take a bow. That was massive. And now Crotty. Oh, this game just keeps delivering. It's a cracker here in Perth. Oh, there's players down in back pay for the Western Force. Ed Stubbs, his first ever run on Super Rugby game as Walton gets in on it. Have a little of this, he says. The boy from the bush. Through them all. And on we go, now with Dag. Roll out! There's some tired runners. Corey Flynn takes it over the advantage line. Forces defensive line set beautifully. 
Roll two. And they still ahead thanks to Ed Stubbs' try saver on Dag to Fua. Oh, got the ball free to Romano. Looking for his second of the night. Another big shot from Walton. Just a knock on. Knock on advantage coming. Scrum possibly for the Crusaders if they need it as Franks is assisted. Flynn. It's ominous here for the force. Can they repel them once more? George. Uh, try, no try. I've got a feeling the ball did actually touch the whitewash, but I just want to check, please. And it's Romano again. Does he have two? Well, he, he's crossed the line three times tonight. One was disallowed two minutes before half-time. Wonderful continuity from the Crusaders. They have so much patience. 14, sub. 14. Does the ball get to the wide line? Difficult to see there. Jonathan Kaplan is probably in the best position. Luke White, Whitelock as well, driving Romano across the line. It's going to be a difficult call for the TMO. Cato, what do you reckon, quickly? Yay or nay? I'd say no, because you can't see the ball get to the try line. You can see where it is in location. Ooh, that That's a difficult one there. Vinny Munro, the TMO in the Blues-Hurricanes game tonight, gave a decision against the attacking side because they couldn't see the football being placed down. Scrum, correct. Are you happy with that? Yes. Wow, Hines not impressed. Luke Romano has been denied for a second time. He can't believe it. And the force hang on to the lead, but boy, oh boy, that run of play leading up to that near try. Awesome. Well, the last really shot, was, as I mentioned, we referred it, and it was inconclusive, so it's a five-minute no. strong attack. No, it, was wonderful. it was wonderful rugby between both sides. Great defence from the force and just great continuity and pressure from the football with the Crusaders treasuring possession. They backed themselves. Look at this defence. There's just stinging it from both sides at all times. Ed Stubbs there, just coming in from the sideline. Bang, twice. He's made two massive impacts on the Crusaders. That second, that second last one was really a try saver because they were destined to score. But look at those possession stakes. 94% in the last five minutes. And they've got only three points to show for it with a penalty conversion. Wonderful defence from the force. And uh, Timmy... Here's the mark. So you're, you two are perfect. Ed Stubbs has been, well, a standout. Well, bit, he, he was a little bit lost in the first 10 or 15 minutes. Ed Stubbs positionally he missed a couple of defensive tackles in the open, but after that first 15 minutes, he started to arrow in defensively. Touch. Touch. Set. All right, he takes two. This from the Crusaders. That's a good, strong scrum. Penalty advantage coming. George Whitelock, what do you do? He's pointed to the post, but the temptation would have been to pack another scrum and go for the pushover with the edge that they've got. And that helps him just arguing that the, the Crusaders are trying to get around on an angle, but defensively you've got to collapse the scrum as you can because you don't want to keep it advancing. I'll take a reaction. Retreating. You can see just the Crusaders really trying to work it forward as an eight balls at the back of the scrum. Western Force trying to make it as messy as possible. There he is, Ed Stubbs. He saved his side a certain try by icing Israel Dag. What a great run on Super Rugby start for him, Timmy. Yeah, he's, there's no doubt he's going to get some more confidence out of this game, but I just feel the Crusaders have really picked up a couple of gears and gaining some confidence. They're getting across the advantage line more now. They're hitting the, the line a lot flatter than they were in the first 40 minutes. Tucks it inside the right hand, upright, and they've whittled that deficit back to just two. The force leads 16 14, 58 gone. But when you have such overwhelming possession stakes for a side like the Crusaders, they just back themselves. They wear you down. They just keep chipping away, chipping away. An eight point deficit is now a two point deficit for the Crusaders, and they're on the charge back. 
Guildford has had a hand in almost everything since coming on at half time. Let it come. Blindale sends it down to Alfie Murphy. Haven't seen a lot of him tonight, Alfie Murphy. Now he's a chance. And he knows. One way Alfie Murphy is Walton gets his first carry. He's been dishing out a bit of hurt since coming on in defence. There's Godwin. Strong in the tackle. Slip past tough Thua. Norton Knight. Good pick up. Mathewson. Now Tessman. Sam Whitelock has also been very busy since coming on for the Crusaders. Lynn pops up in a fairly easy pass there. Now Dag scoops it up. He'll be happy to play it on and drills it. Nice kick, Israel Dag. Saw the space in, be in behind Junior Rasalia. Let's have a look at the little lock on from Toby Lynn and this will hurt them. I think Toby Lynn was just a little bit unsighted from Owen Franks. Crusaders had Andy Ellis coming on and, and Willie Hines coming on in number 20. He's been good tonight, Andy Ellis. Matthew Simmer the box. Come down short of halfway and what a take that. We'll get a number in just a moment. Trotty. Tried to skip past Godwin. He was up to the task. Tafua. Oh. It's awkward out the back, but he cleans up his own mess. Jordan Tafua. There's the skipper, George Whitelock. Luke Whitelock. It's easy pickings at the moment defensively for the Western Force. Now Guilford. Crotty, Dag. Terrific hands if they can get it 3 1 more. They do it so well, the Crusaders is stretching the defensive line across the park. Luke Romano charges. Nice carry. Ryan Crotty. Had a hand in almost everything for his side tonight. As George Whitelock gets past Walton. And now Crockett, he can distribute through and into Rasalia. He's up to it, the youngster. Brought down giant 13 from Canterbury. Now the skip from Dag. And out the back it comes, and into touch. The Western Force hold firm for the time being. Gee, that was well read from Alfie Murphy. It was two on one out wide, and he stayed close. And he drifted out Alfie Murphy to cover two players. He had to stay on Israel Dag, and there was two forward runners out wide. Testament to Walton. Here is one of them. Oh! Oh boy, oh boy, Tafua lined up Hodgson and hit him with everything. Big tackle there from Jordan Tafua. Trouble, Dag. Rasalia did well. Did extremely well. Now Hines, Blindale. How much longer can the Sea of Blue lift their side, keep them in front? They are under siege from the seven-time champions, the Crusaders. The possession has got to tell soon with the Crusaders. Over 60% now. Lyondale, Fruin, Trotty. Great depth on the pass. Flint to Tafua. 
G. Corey Flynn's had an impressive game tonight. Guildford, their big names are lined up to the left. Dag, shaped to pass, went himself. Now Guildford, once again. Romano, another staff performer tonight for his team. Crockett. Going about their work as Blay and Hall out. tries to get through. Two out. Karate went to pass, left it behind. Now they're forced to recommence. No, they won't. Outstanding defence from the Western Force there. 11 phases of good controlled possession. As you can see there, look at that. The man on debut for the force tonight, Rory Walton, comes in, back slapped, getting his head slapped from all his teammates. A wonderful turnover, but great patience with the ball in hand from the Crusaders. And just a slight little mistake there with the, with the bad execution of the pass allows the Western Force just to get the edge and get the drive in onto the ruck. Causes the turnover, Rory Walton, there he is, hard on the football. Fair penalty, but wonderful defence, but wonderful rugby all round. Yeah, good defence in the Western Force. First mistake tonight from Ryan Crotty. Had a superb game. Just the ball getting a little bit slippery now with the sweat coming off the players. We've been here before many times, though, with the Western Force ahead in the closing stages, only for it to go horribly wrong. Can tonight be their night against the heavyweights, the Crusaders? Matthewson. Norton Knight, he opened the scoring way back in the fourth minute with a wonderful individual try. Brown again. Norton Knight, Godwin, Brasilia. Grubbers through. Jag cleared it up, popped it in the touch. What a bad game, though, for the fourth, Simi. Yeah, just keeping the Crusaders' defensive line in check. Pretty good option from Junior Rasselier. Uh, I've liked him at outside centre tonight. I think he's probably wasted on the wing. He's able to get involved a bit more with his hands on the ball. Big, strong running, running player. Played for the GBS club in Brisbane a few seasons back, and he's got a good option here now with the Western Force. Played a bit of Aussie Sevens, that man, Junior Russell Lee. Also represented the Fiji under-20s. He won't be touching it for the moment as the Crusaders steal the line out. Now through, and he's opposite number. Almost got through. Goblin, he's the Western Force's top tackler. They're another example of just why not many get past Kyle Goblin, the 20-year-old. Oh, that's a big call. Jonathan Kaplan on White Crockett. Yeah, so incorrect entry into the ruck there, coming in on the angle, not coming through the gate. And the gate is a little designated space at the back of the ruck where every player from either side has to come through at their point of entry. A tough decision gives the force the ability just to increase their two-point lead to five. Jaden Haywood, 45 metres out in front of the post. It's been perfect with the boot tonight, Jaden Haywood. To push the lead back out to five. Ball took a lot of the kicking tee. And it'll just go under the crossbar. He needed, the, needed one of the, the three or the five or three irons there. That was the pitching wedge. Just fell short. He returns with the driver and sends it long to Norton Knight. The up and under, can it bring rewards for the force? Perhaps just Norton Knight scoops up his own kick. Lynn hacks it through, it's play on for the time being as Faulkner is brought down, just 10 out. Hodgson, Cowan.
the more experienced names have really delivered tonight, but one of their freshest and newest... Well, always consistent. ...has given up great field position. Jonathan Kaplan. So exactly what he penalised White Crockett for two minutes ago. Rory Walton, the same penalty against the attacking team. And all you want for the referees to be is consistent, and, and uh, Jonathan Kaplan there being exactly that. You can see here, Israel Dag, very brave under the high ball. A lot of pressure from the Western Force. Sam Norton Knight really attacking forward. But look at Rory Walton, comes in from the side, needed to come back in around from behind his own teammate there to go over the top of the football. Israel Dag claiming he was taken before he took the kick as well. Blondale through and now. Dag, their big names need to perhaps just up the ante a touch here for the Crusaders if they're going to get out of jail here in Perth. Dag, one of those. Guildford comes in for the clean out. And ball's not coming out of there, so we'll set a scrum Crusaders feed. Well, they're happy to sit back the Western Force defensive line at the moment. Matt Hodgson has been making an enormous amount of tackles tonight. Gets a pat. Melvin Matheson. I'm, I'm going to stand this side. Yeah. And they just seem to be holding off the runners of Israel Dag and also Robbie Fruin. They're happy not to rush up in defence and just set their defensive line, Cano, and make sure they don't miss any tackles. Well, you've got to have as many numbers as you can in that defensive line, particularly against a side like the Crusaders, who are playing the full width of the field. You've got to make sure you've got to have your numbers there to pressure them any time the ball carry comes near you. They are such a dangerous side. They are so brave in the way in which they want to attack that they're a constant threat in any part of the field. Crouch. Touch. Set. It's Hines, Blaindale, Fruin. Uh, another loose pass out the back and four swarm. Probably will have to clean it up. Yeah, I think that's come off a Western Force player. just gone from, from being the most unpopular match official to the most popular with that change of the arm angle there. The sea of blue have come to life. An anxious eight and a half minutes to go. Sam Whitelock rushes through, rips it off Matthewson, Flynn bullocking down the right hand touch line. See to come a little wider here, the Crusaders. There's an inkling of room. Jordan Tafua. Wow, is that the turning point in the match? Sam Whitelock steal. Marshall. Got the arm through for Dag. Sniffing short, and now they go wide. Tafua again. Hasn't he been strong, Tafua? Terrific. The replacement back rower. Glendale. Guildford. Shapes now offloads to Luke Whitelock. And they do it like they've done it for the last 20 minutes. The Western Force hold on. Junior Rasselier, it was. Made an early call though, Jonathan Kaplan. Rasselier, watch him make the tackle. Shows clear air. And then he's on the ball. Like this. Luke Whitelock was isolated. He's been a handful tonight. I, can I, I think he's defended really well up against Robbie Fruin, but he hasn't rushed up all the time. He's allowed Robbie Fruin to run across the field and then pick him up. I think Robbie Fruin's probably struggled a little bit with Junior being in his face. Yeah, he has. It's, it's been a more mature performance from him. A lot of the Crusader backs have actually crabbed sideways along, along when they're attacking, which defensively makes it a lot easier rather than them running straight back on your inside shoulder. So Robbie Fruin was doing that. Jason Rasselier and some of the Western Force backs might have had a bit more of a challenging night than what they've had today. Force ball, but the Crusaders put plenty of pressure on. Oh, they look for the turnover instead, concede a penalty. And that 
was a, that was a move that backfired. Wyatt Crockett was part of a, a threesome there with the Crusaders, trying to keep uh, Richard Brown up with the ball before it went to the ground, and he fell on the opposite side of the Western, or on the side of the Western Force ruck, not able to let the ball roll out or be freed as it should have been being penalised there for rolling over the top. So the Western Force, at a critical stage of this game, get a relieving penalty kick for touch. Five and a half minutes left in this match. Tell you what, Rory Walton was very lucky that penalty wasn't reversed for rucking. And the Western Force shorten their line out up five-man line out at the back to Walton. Walton. Takes it nice and clean for Hodgson. Has been enormous for his team tonight. Now Alcock. Head of steam up here, the force. Oh, Walton just reeled it in. Is it? On the verge of a huge that upset. Is that? Big Snowden, the replacement, scrum half, it's loose. Rasalia grubbers through, and he's got men on the outside. Streaming through. They couldn't reel it in, but now they have it once more. Snowden. Godwin. Faulkner was met by many. Snowden. Norton Knight has coughed it up. In back play, Shrieker does laps and loops, and Kaplan shuts it down. Well, that's craziness, absolute craziness. The game in the balance is some goose. Runs up and down NIB Stadium in his fluoros. What an idiot. Benny Whitaker comes onto the field. For Heath Tessman, and he's a favourite of yours, isn't he, Cano? Oh, he's wonderful. He's, he's lost a, a significant amount of weight. He's had some, some lower abdomen injuries in the last sort of off-season that he's worked really hard to get back. He, he's told me he's worked really hard on getting himself in, in the best shape that he can. It's a, it's a lean, mean Ben Whitaker in 2013. And good to see him back playing Super Rugby because he is a wonderful talent and the Western Force are very lucky to have him. That short break will help the Crusaders who turn the ball over. Under the pump defensively. Four minutes left in this match. Gee, they've got some experience to help get them over the line, though, Timmy. Touch. Some world-class players I need to deliver now. Blondale. Through a flat pass. Dillard raced up. Now it's with Haywood. The sea of blue stir a little more. Tom Marshall putting it down for the Crusaders. Snowden over the top. Vanu. Oh, fancy footwork for Vanu. Brings it back well outside the 22. Oh, huge numbers to the right if they can shift at the Crusaders. Franks distributes. They take Horan's advice. Now Marshall. Crotty. Flynn out of the wing, charges down the right touch line. That's a massive hit from Paddy Dellert. He's gone coast to coast there, Dellert. Whack, whack. He's just come onto the field not so long ago, Paddy Dellert, and has made a really important defensive tackle. The Crusaders, they had numbers. And he lined him up, Paddy Dellert, and hit underneath the ribs of Corey Flynn. Crucial turnover. Yeah, what wonderful defence. You can see just the pressure that they're both putting each other under it, with the ball in hand. The force have really been patient and, and worked very hard defensively tonight and got that reward. You can see the pressure that it's bringing in terms of the mistakes the Crusaders are making. Their individual errors and their execution is probably one of the highest it's been in the last number of games for them. Great attendance for crowd there, just under 17,000. At this new wonderful facility in Perth, they really have finally found their voice. And they've been in this position too many times before to see their home side get run down in the last couple of minutes. Is tonight going to be that breakthrough moment? Well, they're finding their voice to cheer them home. All through the week, Shawnee Paddy Dallet was really disappointed to be left out of the, the starting team. He certainly took his frustration out there on two massive hits. 
one on Tom Marshall, and the second one, the turnover on Corey Flynn. Junior Rasalia limps off the field. Good performance at outside centre from him tonight. We'll see us Eberson coming onto the field. With the change in the front row, with Pet Cowan coming off, Celeste Marfu having gone on. We'll look at the pressure the Crusaders will try and put on this Western Force feed. It's the edge of the seat stuff. If you're a Force fan, a Crusaders Touch. fan, we're every watching around the world. It's a nail by a finish here at NIB. And that'll keep the locals happy. George Wylock not happy with that decision. The, 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 the Crusaders do feel like they've got the edge and they are managing to disrupt the force at scrum time, but you've got to do it the correct way. You've got to stay parallel to the sidelines. And the Crusaders there with both White, Crockett, Noah and Franks being penalised for angling in at scrum time, which is illegal. And that man there, George Whitelock, not happy with the decision, but it's a fair one from Jonathan Kaplan. Can they close it out, the Western Force? They have been here, like you say, Brennan Cannon, so many times we've lost count, only to go down. Can they close it out? They're a minute 30 from one of their more important victories in the club's history. That penalty certainly helps. The captain, George Whitelock of the Crusaders, can't believe it. More can crock it. Here we go. Strap yourselves in, Western Force fans. with Hodgson. Who else? The captain. This game will be a terrific memento for his new young son, Hunter Hodgson. Stay up, please. Now out. just 50 seconds away. Use it! Oh, enough. They need go nowhere. They simply must just keep that ball in hand. Marfu. Oh, my goodness. Well, the Crusaders will have one last crack. Oh, it was a tackle from Luke Romano. He went in ball and all on Toby Lynn, I think it was. Last play of the game. The Crusaders are masters of keeping the ball for four or five minutes. So even though the game reaches 80 minutes, there's still two, three, four minutes that the Crusaders can keep control of the ball. 16,000 in attendance here tonight, and I can tell you, for the most part, there aren't too many nails left. They have been bitten and chewed right down. One more bullet to dodge from the Crusaders. Crusaders back line, Robbie Fruin. Ryan Crotty, a box Touch. set up. Set. Hines feeds it. Here we go. Leyendahl. That was Crotty who shaped. And now Marshall. Defence is good for the time being from the force. The Crusaders need to get past the 50 metre line. Advantage. Here we go. Ooh. For a brief moment, the locals thought they were home and hose. No. So no time for the line out. So Willie Hines will play on quickly, and they'll aim to get about 40 metres out and hope to try and draw a penalty. To Fua. Hodgson was over the top. Blayendale. Shaped. Brought down by come. Faulkner. Let it come. Oh, big shot over the top from Tetra Faulkner. He's turned it! He's turned it! And listen to the Sea of Blue! The Western Force have done it! They have toppled the heavyweights! The locals are going mad in Perth! Wow, what an upset. The Crusaders coming back from two weeks in South Africa. Right favourites they were tonight, and the Sea of Blue, nearly 17,000 people at NIB Stadium are pumped and they are on their feet as one. Wonderful work for the Western Force.